This video will be introduction for vasculitis. It's more of algorithm and how to organize and divide the types of vasculitis. So vasculitis is one of the diseases that it's difficult to diagnose and to think about. The reason is patients present with non-specific symptoms. And sometimes you would require to rule out other diseases before saying, well, this patient might have vasculitis. And diagnosis can require or need oftentimes expensive modalities like MRA, for example. Sometimes you will require more invasive modalities like doing a biopsy, for example. And the last thing is these patients can be very sick. And that's also puts a pressure on the physician when they try to diagnose vasculitis. So let's divide vasculitis into three types. Large vessels, medium vessels, and small vessels. In the large vessels, we have giant cell arthritis and takayasu arthritis. In the medium vessels, we have polyarthritis nidosa and Kawasaki disease, seen in children mainly. And the small vessels, we can divide it into two main categories, anca vasculitis and immunocomplex vasculitis. Now, the anca vasculitis, we have two types of anca, P anca and C anca. Now, the P anca is the other name for MPO antibodies, and the PR3 is the other name for C anca. Cyanca is associated with microscopic polyangitis, while Cyanca is involved in two diseases. The first one, where you have eosinophil that are normal, and that's what we call granulomatous polyangitis, which is the other name for Wigener granulomatosis. And if you have eosinophil elevated, then we call it eosinophilic granulomatous polyangitis, which is Charg Strauss syndrome. Now, note that eosinophilic granulomatous polyangitis is associated with P anca as well as the C anca. It's not only C anca. Now the immunocomplex mediated small vessel vasculitis is mainly three types. And the first one is good Pasteur syndrome, which is anti-GBM disease. Then we have the IgA vasculitis which is HSP disease. And we have the last one, cryoglobulinemia vasculitis. So this was introduction of vasculitis. We will talk more in details about each of them in the next videos and how we diagnose and manage them.